Jeez. Loud much? It's supposed to be loud. Yeah, well, my ears are ringing. Happy birthday. Isn't this your favorite? I've got another one just like it. Okay, well, what about mom? It was her idea. Huh. Dad! What are you doing? Shooting the gun you just gave me. You don't just point and shoot it at anything. That's the whole point of having a gun. There's a lot more to it than that. Come here. Dad, there's a bush there. And look what you did. Yeah, it looks great. It gives the house some character. That's besides the point. So you agree, it gives the house character. I'm not gonna say anything. <laughs> Come on, I'm gonna teach you how to shoot the right way, okay? Oh. Point, shoot. I'm drowning in shallow thoughts. I'm drowning in shallow thoughts. Jabbering gibberish that your chatter is limitless as I drown in these shallow thoughts. I drown in these shallow thoughts. My life jacket is straight jacket like arms wrapped back in these mind rapids are rapidly drowning me in shallow thoughts. Every breath that lurks at me hurts like I swallow rocks when I breathe and it gets even worse when it's words I speak. So please don't take lightly when I say that I'm drowning in shallow thoughts. I'm drowning in shallow thoughts. I'm married to truth and my words are as hollow knots How could this not be my y'all when it's all I've got? How deep can you go when you're drowning in shallow thoughts? How deep can you go when you're drowning in shallow thoughts? How deep can you go when you're drowning in shallow thoughts? My voices drowned out by voices I found out weren't mine But how can I get them out of my mind? I can't find time, I've lost it Took my whole cause and paused it This must mean that I'm exhausted My lack of breath is diagnostic Just how heavy will this cross How heavy, how heavy will this Today, I just don't get it. Who could? I mean, how can you possibly understand kids? If anyone could, you'd think it's me. You know, Tim, we did everything we could to raise her upright. I'm just glad you were close. I do whatever it takes to keep you safe. Did I love her enough? Did I love her enough? And after all, every girl needs her daddy. Let's be honest. You didn't want a child. No, you're right. You should have listened to me. You know, Holly, I really didn't see this coming. But you should have. I'm a school psychologist, not a mind reader. True, but she is your daughter. Is? You think I can make some jewelry out of this?
Trevor, play today's news. Okay, Holly, I am playing today's news. Since last week, though it appears that the right wing is beginning to realize that the left wing is just as armed and just as willing to defend their beliefs as they are. The federal government, fearing a potential coup, has once again declared martial law and activated the guard. And in other news, only three school shootings have been reported today, leaving the year's total up by 12% from this time last year. One of the shooters is still on the loose. The shooter was reported to be a teenage girl. She produced a pistol and began shooting, leaving two dead and eight more wounded. Reports say that she turned the gun on herself, but when she pulled the trigger, she was out of bullets. I guess she must have been failing in math and couldn't even count the bullets. She ran out of school and is still on the loose. Trevor, stop. Hi, Sunshine. Hope you had a marvelous day. Yeah. Sucked marvelous, huh? You should have been there. What? You should have been at that school where that girl got away. You could have stopped her. That was my school, Holly. I really wish you would call me Mom. Well, I guess you got your way. I'm proud of you, though. You taught her how to defend herself. Well, Holly was all for you. I mean, yeah, I taught her how to shoot and everything, but... I mean, after all, nobody agrees on anything anymore. I know, right? It's crazy. Nobody wants to compromise or find any middle ground. God, you remember when we were in school? We didn't have all this martial law and civil war. Oh yeah, those were the days. You know, I had wanted her to grow up to be a school resource officer. Your school, Sunshine, how does that make you feel? Um, better, actually. You know, your father taught you to never point a gun at anyone unless you intend to use it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Put them on. On me? Do it. I don't understand. Well, that's because you don't understand anything, ever. So help me help you figure this out. Have you ever looked around? Of course I have. What are you talking about? Okay, let me help you. It's this world that you created. Everything is crazy. It's just insane. Okay? And you brought me into this place. I mean, how could you do that to me? How could you bring me in to this godforsaken place? Huh? Well, we all get along just fine. No, actually, we don't all get along just fine. You are constantly asking me how I feel instead of listening to me and what I'm saying. Oh, honey, maybe I need to get better at that. <laughs> get better? Are you kidding me? I, I certainly hope so because you cannot get any worse. Now, Sunshine, that's just not fair. Please, just put the gun down. Don't make me regret allowing your father to give you that gun and teach you to use it. Where's that? It's your father. Where is he? Where's Tim? In the garage. Okay, okay. Well, when you text him, get in here. This is for him too. I want him in here for this, actually. It's not my fault. <sighs> oh, honey. You know you need to take responsibility for your actions. It oh is God. your fault. And you are still not listening! So I... did not ask to be here. I did not ask to be born. Sunshine, you can make the difference. You have your whole life ahead of you. Not after today. 
Look, just take off these cuffs mm. and let's forget about all this. Do you think that they're gonna forget what I did in school? Wait. Wait. What do you mean, at school? What did you do? Guess I'm gonna be famous now. It's probably all over the news anyways. What did you do? Well, I guess we better get on with it. I really wanted her to be a school resource officer. Polly, you were right. I didn't want to bring anyone into this world. Why would I want to bring anyone into this godforsaken place? You know, that's exactly what Sunshine called it. Godforsaken. It could have been her, though, that made the difference. Thank you. 